Welcome to H2O World. This conference is about you. You are the reason we are here. Um, we started as a small group of individuals working on this project roughly two and a half years ago. My cohort, Cliff, um, and I started maybe a block away from here uh, with the intention of building software for data scientists and machine learners because we found, we found that R um, as a software was not necessarily built by, by software engineers, built by mathematicians for mathematicians. So it's quite, quite a pleasure to see you all here with the movement has grown from just two people or one person in a room in a garage to roughly more than twice what we even expected uh, in terms of audience. Um, we were booked twice over Luckily, the venue we picked is big enough, so we can definitely take more people. And there are lots of people on the live stream as well, banging at wanting the live stream to work. But thanks for coming, and this is about you. <laughs> Time is the only non-renewable resource on this planet, and that's why speed matters. That's why we picked Cliff, who drives really fast cars, right? Um, we, we are here to make things go faster, so you can experiment faster, iterate faster, and get things to result very fast, uh, quickly, so that you can, I mean, everyone has the 5 p.m. deadline, everyone has the, 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 the quarter deadline, or the weekly deadline that you need to ship your results. So time is your only constraint, really. Um, everything else is actually replenishable. The second one, of course, is the law of large numbers, and that's where data matters. Having big data, scaling your algos to large data sets does produce good results. Um, statistics actually does perform well when you have large entropy in your data, and that the whole power of AI and the whole resurgence in machine learning is really related to being able to collect large data sets and process that without having to um, run on like thousands of machines. Finally, our vision is that data science as a whole, machine learning as a whole, is an offline process. It's not necessarily um, scalable at the rate which data is growing. I think the convergence, and we're having this con conversations with other groups, the convergence of developers and data science is happening. And that's where applications, smarter applications, are gonna be built. And so, as part of today's course, you'll see how you can both combine data science and the developer movement um, and build really simple APIs to extend and build re-envision applications as they're built in the pre-intelligence uh, pre era. So that's kind of the core vision we are after. I see some younger folks in the, in the audience. Um, I think every generation just needs to reinvent its math. Um, just like calculus was a reaction to, by Newton and, and Leibniz, depends on whom you ask, um, was a reaction to, the, to finding out the falling apple. I think our generation is dealing with a really interesting set of data sets that are all network bound. All the, about all we know about it is that they follow the power law. We don't know more than that, and we need to find more than that. That's why we're trying to encourage younger generation to come up and and exhaust the math we have so we can actually build new math and, and solve the problems of today. So it's, it's our turn to come up with new math. Code, finally, is not complete without you, community. Um, the community is why we started doing this, and the community has resonated back with a thundering applause, with a thundering presence as well, um, we have been on a throes of adoption, and I'll show a couple of numbers, a throes of adoption over the last year, and nothing short of a revolution, but this has been a journey together, both with us as a team, but also the grower, bigger community as a whole. Lastly, data-driven decision-making is hard, and no matter how much um, analysis you've done, you need to convince someone to make that choice, to make that move, to do the thing that you've been asking. Uh, every corner of this room is a data scientist who has probably struggled very hard to make his case 
using different tools, we are one other tool, different mechanisms, different emotional reactions that they're trying to get their bosses to, to, to react to their analysis. I think eventually courage is where the last leg of data science ends. Um, and to that, we'll actually have to create that emotional reaction. You're an artist, you're trying to play with data, uh, almost like clay as, as we hear in other, other places. Data is your clay and you're trying to get that, evoke that response from your team, from your rest of your organizations. And that is the last mile before people actually make a choice. Finally, none of this has come as, uh, as by one person. Startups, projects, every product, every product that's worth, um, worth using is a team sport. We come here with a really phenomenal team. The reason I'm here is because of a phenomenal team behind me and, and a phenomenal community. We've teamed up with customers very early on. All of our customers will be speaking in the conference, will be making a great case for, for H2O. And H2O is actually part of the community. Finally, we want to keep it fun. Machine learning is fun, and happiness is actually a form of truth. So in, in the pursuit of truth, you're actually pursuing happiness. And we want to make sure machine learning is yet another way to really dig deeper and find better, deeper things to do with life. Here's a chart. No, no data science talk is full without a chart. This is the unique visitors who downloaded our product and played with it. It started at roughly 100 a week, 100 a month in January, to about 500 a week um, right now. So it's been really um, a nonlinear, high-scale exponential growth. Um, this month, we'll probably have hit 7,299 as of late last night, the number of installations of H2O that are active and are being used by customers. So very live, uh, um, lively, fast-growing um, ecosystem of users and, and builders. And this, this, uh, con this convention or this conference is not complete if you don't make it fun. One of the, there are a couple of goals as we, this is the first ever H2O World, and there are two goals I have as kind of a long-term vision for this conference. And tomorrow will reflect more of that. I want to see a KDD that's a little bit more fun. Right? So those of you who have attended KDD know very well that's really intense. And we want to make it a little bit more pragmatic, a little bit more competitive, but at the same time, a little bit more fun. So, so at the end of all of today, you'll be given a certificate of mastery. Um, and it'll be fun. It's actually not necessarily a certificate of mastery. Um, it's, it's definitely R-rated, so, um, so definitely uh, feel free to have fun. And with that, I want to bring um, Cliff on board. And before he jumps, I want to leave a popular song. I don't know how audio will play. <laughs> 